OK, James, so can you show me how to plumb the depth now? Sure, Trev. Plumbing the depth has got to be one of the most important things to think about when you're fishing in, in any situation. So we've already got our rig ready and we've sort of guessed the depth uh, around about four foot there. But we're going to ensure that we get it absolutely spot on by using a plummet. So I'm going to fix the plummet onto the hook. Okay. Now the plummet is obviously a heavier weight than the capacity of the float. Okay. So when we lower the plummet in, if the area that we're fishing is deeper, it's going to pull the float under, so we're going to have to come back and adjust it. So let's, let's start at that, say so that's around about four foot deep. So I'm going to gently just place the plummet in the water, then I'm going to ship it out to the area that we're fishing. Okay, so I'm not going to like cast it in, I'm just going to gently lower the plummet into the swim and watch what happens. So, the float's been pulled under, so we're not fishing deep enough. As you can see now, if I lift back up again, I've got to lift it probably 15, 20 centimetres to get the depth. Okay. So now I'm going to adjust the float by moving the float gently up around about 10, 15 centimetres. We'll go 20 centimetres, OK? OK. So let's try again. Gently lower it down. And look at that, that's absolutely spot on. So when I let the plummet down to touch the bottom, the float's just submerged. So all I need to do there is probably add another three or four centimetres and we know the exact depth of the swimwear I'm fishing. And your bait is perfectly on the bottom. Yeah, I mean, you're not always going to fish with the bait on the bottom, but it's a good starting it's point. It's a good starting and point. And it's very important to understand how deep the peg is before you start fishing. I think for me, as a, as a novice, what's also very clear is how accurate a pole is in plumbing the depth get into exactly the same spot either time. Yeah, so as you say, I'm lowering that float into exactly the same position every time. And I'll often line up with something on the far bank, like a tree, to ensure that I remember exactly where I'm fishing. Because of course the depth of the swim can change, not just in distance out, but from left to right, due to undulations in the bottom of the bed. So it's very important to understand the depth where you're fishing. So there we are, that's absolutely spot on. And James, I'm also thinking perhaps if you're fishing a place for the first time, you can find where you've got ledges and such like, say like on a canal where you have a boat channel. Yeah, that's going to give you some good understanding of the lake bed or the canal bed and dictate where you're going to fish in that swim. One quick tip I want to give you, Trev, is to think about We've spent all that time determining the depth. What we like to do with some Tipex is mark that depth clearly on the pole for reference for the rest of the day. So we don't have to plumb the depth again in that spot. So what I'll do is I'll just mark the depth with a little bit of Tipex so that we've got a reference point for the depth on that particular rig in that particular place in the swim. Okay. Another thing we need to consider, Trev, which takes a little bit of time to understand and perfect, is the distance of the line from the actual pole float to the connector. Now, it's difficult to actually fine tune that until you know the depth of the swim that you're fishing. And I'd say, actually, for a beginner, that's not a bad length of line. I suppose that's around about 50 to 60 centimetres long. The object of the exercise when you're pole fishing is to try and have that length of line as short as possible because it means that you're maximising the uh, efficiency of the strike and also maximising presentation. The less line you've got between the pole, pole tip and the pole float means that you're going to reduce the, 
the, the wind blowing on the line and affecting the floats presentation. And you can get away with the absolute perfect size float for the condition. And I suppose also you can lift and control the bait with the tip of the pole. Absolutely, absolutely. But as a beginner, you'll find that it takes get a little bit of getting used to, to fine tune your shipping in and out and striking. And you'll probably get tangles if you try and have that length of line too short. Yeah. So let's start with that. And maybe as you progress and become more experienced, you'll find that that length will reduce down to maybe even 10, 15 centimetres when you really want to be hitting fast, biting fish. That sounds good to me.